So today I'm talking about names. What is in a name? That which we call a rose by any other name would swell a sweet. This is the question posed by Shakespeare in Romeo and Juliet. What is in a name? Well, a name is how we identify ourselves, how others identify us. If you ask me who I am, I would say I'm Abby Asher. But to my dad, I'm Babs. To my older sister, I'm Abby Girl. To my niece and my nephew, I'm Aunt B. To my husband, I'm Baby or Mrs. Asher. And to my mom, I'm her breath of fresh air. Names are how we are defined. Sometimes the names that define us are the ones we give ourselves. In the book of Ruth, Naomi changes her name from Naomi, which means pleasantness, to Mara, which means bitter, after the death of her husband and her two sons. And sometimes the names that define us define us by our jobs in life, like doctor, judge, professor, and so on. God changed Abram's name to Abraham, father of many, because he had a job to do, a purpose to fulfill. Just like Simon, whom Jesus called Peter, meaning stone, because on that rock, Peter, he was going to build his church, and the gates of hell wouldn't be able to prevail against it. Sometimes, though, the names given to us by others are demeaning. In Isaiah 62, 4, Judah is called forsaken and desolate. But God can change the negative names that we give ourselves and those that others give us. God says, no longer will you be called forsaken, nor shall your land be called desolate, but you shall be called Hephzibah, which means the Lord delights in her. There have been times I've been desolate and felt forsaken, but God doesn't see me that way. He delights in me, and he gave me a new name, his. In Isaiah 49, God says, I will not forget you. I have written your name on the palms of my hands. Some translations say our names are engraved, which is even more permanent. But my favorite name in the Bible is the one God gave Jesus before his birth, Emmanuel, which means God with us. God delights in us so much he sent his son to be God with us, even on those days where we feel desolate and forsaken. God not only has our names engraved on his hands, so we're always with him. He loved us enough to send his son, who left heaven behind, to be born a man and die a criminal's death so that he could be God with us for all eternity. And this is what Christmas means to me. So as we prepare to celebrate Christmas this year, let's remember why God sent his son not only to give us a hope and a future, but so that he could be God with us, and so he could live the human experience and say he's truly been where we are, and he knows the joys and the heartaches that we feel. So may we come to God in prayer, knowing he feels what's on our hearts too, and may we know that the God who calls the stars out by name every night knows our name, and he calls us our name because he loves each and every one of us. So let's pray. Mm -hmm.